neutralization reactions. Today we're going to learn how to do calculation with neutralization reactions. Also, we're going to learn what actually is a neutralization reaction. You see here I have a, a lemon. A lemon is a type of an acid. A neutralization reaction is a reaction between an acid and a base. So three things about neutralization reactions. One of them I just said, it's a reaction between an acid and base. On the first slide I had a, an a acid. I showed you a lemon. On this slide, I have a base. Soap is also a base. The products of the reaction are water and a salt, and we'll see that in just a second. And the last thing, at the end of a neutralization reaction, there's no acid or base left. So let's do some calculations. The first one, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide react. So the complete molecular would be HCl plus NaOH gives you NaCl. So NaCl is the salt. So that's our Sa. L, T, that's our salt, and then we have water. So the products of an acid-base reaction are water and a salt. Or if you want to write the net ionic reaction, cross out the expected ions, which would be chloride because it's aqueous on both sides, and sodium because it's aqueous on both sides, and that would leave you with this reaction. A proton plus hydroxide gives you water. So let's do a, a problem with this. We've got three problems today. What is the volume of one molar hydrochloric acid that's needed to neutralize exactly 25 milliliters of 0.35 molar sodium hydroxide? So for this, what you're going to do is you're going to use information about sodium hydroxide to find something out about hydrochloric acid. So the balance reaction is the one we just saw. So what you're going to do is you're going to use multiply the volume and the molarity to first get moles. So what, when you do that, you see liters will cancel out. So we have volume times molarity. And notice, instead of writing big M, I wrote moles over liters. And that enables me to cancel liters of sodium hydroxide. Now, I want to go from moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of hydrochloric acid. We see in the balanced equation, there's a one-to-one -one ratio. So the third step is going to be the mole ratio step. So that looks like this. I'm going to say one mole of sodium hydroxide over one mole of hydrochloric acid. Now the last step asks for volume. Now to do this, what we're going to do is take the molarity and actually, since we're we know molarity is equal to moles, that's M-O-L, over liters, we know liters is equal to moles divided by molarity. So what I'm going to do is put the 0.1 on the bottom and liters on the top. So the last thing we're going to do for this one is, I've used, this is the same problem, but what I've done is I've put in, I've divided here by the molarity. And see what happens, the liters of sodium hydroxide cancels when I multiply by molarity. And then I use a mole ratio and it cancels out the moles of sodium hydroxide. And then the last step is I divide by molarity, which means multiplying by the reciprocal. And so moles of HCl cancel. And then when I do the math for this, I end up with 0.0875 liters of one molar HCl, or if you want to express it in milliliters, it's 87.5 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So another problem, that's fun. Next problem. Now this one's not a one-to-one -one ratio, it's a one-to-three ratio. What volume of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide is required to neutralize exactly 50.0 milliliters of 0.102 molar phosphoric acid, H3PO4? So here we have the balance equation. The important thing to see in this balance equation is we have a one-to-three ratio. So the first step is you want to multiply the volume times the molarity. So we see that here. And the next step is you want to use the mole ratio for the balanced equation. So the mole ratio in this balanced equation is 1 to 3. And so for this step, I'm going to say 3 moles of sodium hydroxide over 1 mole of phosphoric acid. So the phosphoric acid cancels. And then in the last step, it's going to look like this. You say you, you're multiplying by the reciprocal again because you're dividing by molarity to get volume. So your liters of phosphoric acid cancel. Uh, and then next, moles of phosphoric acid cancel. And then last, moles of sodium hydroxide cancel. And when the moles of sodium hydroxide cancel, you're left with your units, which are liters of sodium hydroxide. So 0.05 times 0.102 times 3 divided by 0.5 gives us this. 0 0.0306 liters of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide or just 30.6 milliliters of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide. One more problem. 
Now this last problem, we're going to, this last problem, we're going to determine the concentration. So it's going to be a little bit different. One concentration of sulfuric acid neutralizes 47.5 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide if 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid is used. So we're trying to find the concentration of sulfuric acid. We have its volume, but we need the number of moles. So we're going to use the sodium hydroxide and its volume and concentration to find the moles of sulfuric acid. So here's our balanced equation. Notice the different thing about this balanced equation is that we have, notice the thing about this balanced equation is that we have a 1 to 2 ratio, unlike the ratio we saw before. So what you do is you take the volume and the concentration of sodium hydroxide, and those will cancel out. And now you have moles of sodium hydroxide. Now the difference here is we have a 1 to 2 ratio. So we say 2 moles of sodium hydroxide over 1 mole of sulfuric acid. Now the last thing is we just want to simply, so the moles of sodium hydroxide have canceled. So the only thing we're left with at this point is moles of sulfuric acid. To find molarity, we just need to put moles over liters. So all we need to do is divide by this volume right here of our sulfuric acid. So the way this last step should look is you just put one over the volume of the sulfuric acid. So we've got 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid. We just change that to liters and put that right there. So it's 0.0475 times 0.1 divided by 2 times, or divided by 0.025. And that would give us 0.0950 molar, or you could also write it as 0.0950 moles per liter, sodium hydroxide.